conclusion of the matter is that we don't know the source of the mother's guilt in the statement. And I'd like to show that to everyone here. The mother has indicated the belief or knowledge that Summer isn't coming back. Now that goes against the normal parental capacity of protection and denial, especially a mother. So it's something that I, I'm concerned about. But when she was finally uh, convinced to go into the media and speak to the media, which itself is unusual in terms of behavioral analysis, the mother wants to call out to the kidnapper. The mother said, and I, I abbreviate it a bit, me and my mother and her were planting flowers and we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma. I walked her all the way over to the porch and watched her walking into the kitchen. So, from that statement, and, and it's abbreviated, it says more, unable to conclude neglect. This is Reporter Room with Jessica Della Davies. Welcome to Reporter Room. I'm Jessica Della Davies. I'm an investigative journalist, and today we're going to discuss the fact that a grand jury convened in Rogersville, Tennessee on Monday, April 11th. And many of us believe that this is related to the disappearance of Summer Wells and that this is why the district attorney spoke out last week for the first time. We're also hearing that there was another hearing held on Monday, April 11th regarding custody of the three Wells boys. Now, Candace Bly has allegedly told a friend that she isn't going to fight to get her boys back. This is heartbreaking for the boys. What do you guys think about this? Everything I'm sharing with you today is my opinion and opinions are not facts, so please don't send any negativity to anyone, anytime, anywhere. Let's be kind and good to each other. I want to thank our channel members, Sonia Stenger, Rianne Evans, Justice For All, Queen Mob, Greta Duncan, and Debbie McGuire. Thank you also to our subscribers. We're almost to 8,000 subscribers, and I want to thank you guys for your ongoing support. I am grateful for each and every one of you. And before we go any further, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video or one of our live streams. This week, I'm live streaming on Wednesday with Ziggy and with Justice for All as my special guests, and I hope you will join me in making them feel welcome. If you haven't watched my video documentary series on exposing Nicole Kessinger, you will want to see this because it does an excellent job of reporting on the role that NK played in the Chris Watts case. I will link this for you in the description below. CPS can demand that you follow a plan. So we know that Dawn and Candace would have received some kind of action plan to work on gaining custody of the three boys back. It doesn't appear that Candace is working on any kind of a plan other than finding ways of getting social media people like us to fund her lazy lifestyle. She has appeared on YouTube regularly, but she doesn't seem sober to me. What do you guys think? So the action plan with CPS, they're generally not court ordered and therefore CPS cannot force Candace and Dawn to comply. However, by failing to follow the plan, then CPS will tell the judge whether or not Candace or Dawn were cooperating and working to get the boys back. Dawn is in jail, so we have no way of knowing if he is working the plan or not. Both Candace and Dawn have lost their children by refusing to change. This has happened before. So I guess we shouldn't be too surprised that Candace isn't putting forth an effort for her boys. I'm hearing she isn't even attending her counseling meetings regularly. I'm also hearing that she's dating online. So I guess her priorities are to find a new man and not her three boys. The caseworkers from CPS can legally move to remove kids from a house, but only under 
special circumstances or specific circumstances. They would need to prove that a child is in imminent danger, and this can include physical harm, essay, neglect. Don claimed the boys were removed from his home because it, quote, wasn't safe. And he kind of alluded to the fact that it wasn't safe because Summer was taken. But that's not the case. CPS doesn't take kids away from parents who have a child go missing. So neglect seems the most obvious reason to me. And this is due to the condition of the house and the yard. And I also believe that Summer and her two younger brothers look very gaunt and thin in comparison to the eldest boy. I don't believe the children were receiving proper nutrition. And Jose Roman backed this up in his interview with Justice for All and the interview room declarations about the kids being fed Dollar General type snacks rather than proper meals. And there's nothing wrong with enjoying a Dollar General snack, but it should be in addition to and not in lieu of a proper meal. So will Don and Candace lose the boys? I can't say with 100% certainty because there's a gag order placed by a judge in reference to any information about the boys. However, we do know that the process of removing children from their home in Tennessee takes between 9 to 18 months. So it's been almost 9 months since the boys were removed. So we're getting into that time frame. So what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think Candace and Dawn deserve to lose the boys? Or do you think they should be given another chance to keep the boys? What do you feel is in the best interest of the children at this point? Peter Hyatt said in the statement analysis of Candace that he was concerned about neglect. Do you agree with statement analyst Peter Hyatt's assessment or do you have a different opinion so if the case is decided against candace and dawn the information will be visible on certain types of background checks but not every case will result in a criminal conviction so we will have to wait and see what happens Candace has continued making some heartbreaking remarks, including putting Summer on the side because the boys are, quote, living. And this has led many of us to wonder if Candace knows what happened to Summer. It's also led us to wonder if these statements that Candace is making on YouTube will be used against her in a future court case. And maybe this is why she hasn't been formally charged with any Thing related to neglect of the children. So will the boys be removed from Dawn and Candace's custody permanently? Please leave me a comment below, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. See you next time.